Hello everyone, today I will be showing you a simple low cost STEM project that focuses around making a simple robotic hand. Now the supplies and tools needed for this project are a hot glue gun and glue sticks and a scissors. The supplies needed are five straws, string, you need five string too, and a cutout of the template. So your first step is you need to print out your template. Now once you've printed out your template, you are going to want to cut it out. And a very important thing when you cut it out is to cut right where the palm is on each finger. And as I did that for the pinky finger, you want to make sure to do that for all of them. Now once you're done with cutting it out, to make the fingers more flexible when you're making the hand, you want to fold where each of the line is on the template. So again, as I did that on the pinky finger, you want to do that on all the others. And that is the first step. So, being that these next few steps will require a hot glue gun, it is important that you have an adult, especially if you're doing this with children, because this is very hot and can burn them. So being that you have your hand cut out from the template, the next thing that you're going to need to do is measure your straws compared to the hand. So what you want to do is lay the hand or lay the straw up against the hand so that the longer part or the part that you can bend is towards the bottom and so it fits with the template. So once it looks pretty similar to the template, you can mark it with a sharpie. So you basically know where to cut it. So then once you're done, marking them with the sharpie, cut both ends off. So now that you have the cut part of the straw, you're going to need to cut it again into three parts. So what this allows the hand to do is to make it more flexible when you pull the when you pull the string like your actual finger. So what you're going to be doing is cutting it into three parts that fit on the template. So first you go to the second line and then you cut right at the palm. So one important thing to know when you're cutting them is you want to make them a little bit smaller so that they have room to bend. So now that you have your three parts, this is where you're going to start gluing. So what you're going to want to do is do three beads of glue. Take one bead for the first finger and glue the first part on. Now second, this is going to be your second part of the finger, which is going to be a bit smaller, so this gives the first part and the third part enough room to move. And should something be too big or too small, you can obviously just cut it off. So this is what your first finger should look like. Obviously you have a little bit of room between each three straws. So now I will finish cutting and gluing the rest of the straws for the rest of the hand.
So your third and final step is to get your strings through the straw of your hand. Now how you're going, uh, now you, the amount for your string is going to be 24 inches, which the reason why is 24 inches is so you can have a little bit longer string length if it is needed, or if not, you can just cut it off with the scissors. So what you're going to want to do is put this, uh, put the string through the straw and loop it through all three. Now once it is through the straw at the end, you're going to want to turn it around and pull it all the way till it's at the bottom of the palm. So where the bottom of the string is at the end of the hand, that's how you know it is at the right length. So you may have to pull it up a little bit more, but that's fine. So once you know that the string is at a good enough length, Again, you might need an adult for this step because you're using the glue gun. So take your glue gun and start a bead at the part of the finger. And once you're done with that part, do another bead at the bottom of the hand. So once you're done, take your string and lay it out. Now this part is hot, so I would recommend using a toothpick. So when you are finished putting these strings through the straws and gluing them on the back, you have finally completed your hand. So now that you have completed it, have fun!